Welcome or welcome back at C Square. In this clip, we're gonna talk about basic differentiation rules, and I'm gonna start with this constant rule first, which says the derivative with respect of x of a constant, a number, is zero. So let's prove this one. If the function f of x is a constant c, f prime of x using this limit definition will be limit when delta x approach to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. And now let's take a look how much is f of x plus delta x. That will be nothing else than c. So we have limit when delta x approach to zero of c minus f of x will be also c over delta x. And that becomes nothing else than zero. So this is a short proof of the constant. So for example, if you have f of x equals 7, the derivative will be 0. If you have y equals, for example, pi, which is a number, y prime will be 0. The second uh, basic differentiation rule will be the power rule, which says the derivative with respect of x of x to the n is equal of n times x to the power of n minus 1. So you see the n moves up front and then we drop one more from the exponent. So let's see how the proof looks like. So if the function is x to the n, f prime of x will be limit when delta x approach to 0 of x, f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. So in this case, we have limit when delta x approach to 0 of x plus delta x to the n power minus x to the n power over delta x. And the, the, and this limit becomes limit when delta x approach to 0 of and now let's see x plus delta x to the n power using the um, binomial theorem we're going to have x to the n plus n x to the power of n minus 1 times delta x plus n times n minus 1 over 2 x to the n minus 2 power and delta x squared plus and the last term here will be delta x to the n power minus x to the n power over delta x and the first thing we can do here is to simplify these two x to the n and we have limit when delta x approach to zero and if you notice every single term in this form has delta x in it so we can factor a delta x for the numerators and then we have what n times x to the n minus one plus n times n minus one to the over two x to the n minus 2 times delta x plus and the last term will be delta x to the n minus 1 power over delta x. These two delta x cancel out and then what's happened here if you notice when delta x this guy goes to close to zero the whole product will be zero and that happens for every single term after that so the only thing left is n times x to the n minus one so this is the derivative of 
x to the n. So for instance, if I have f of x equals x to the 8 power, the derivative will be move the 8 up front, copy the base x and drop 1 degree and that's it. My next uh, rule that I'm going to talk about is the constant multiple rule. So if the function h of x is the result of multiplying a constant by a function, let's see what the derivative is. And again, I'm going to use the definition you see down there, the limit definition. And that becomes h of x plus delta x minus h of x over delta x. So in this case, we have limit when delta x approach to zero of c times f of x plus delta x minus c times f of x over delta x. In this form, we can factor out the c. And we have limit when delta x approach to 0 of c times f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. And now, using the property of limits, we can Remove the c and put it up front, and we have c times limit when delta x approach to 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. And this last part, the limit is nothing else than f prime of x. So this is a proof for this constant multiple rule. So for instance, if you have uh, something that looks like uh, f of x equals 5x cubed, the derivative will be this 5 times the derivative of x cubed, which is going to be 3, right? Move the exponent up from using the power rule, x to the power of 3 minus 1, 2. So the final form, 15x squared. And the last basic differential rule that I'm going to talk about in this clip will be the sum and difference rule, which you see it here. The derivative with respect of x over sum or uh, difference, it's equal to the derivative of the sum or difference of the derivatives. So if I have uh, Let's say h of x equals f of x plus g of x. So I'm going to do the sum rule. Then h prime will be, h prime of x will be limit when delta x approach to 0 of h of x plus delta x minus h of x over delta x. And this becomes limit when delta x approach to 0 of f of x plus delta x plus g of x plus delta x. This is the first part of this difference quotient. Minus, and let's use parentheses here, even though we don't need for this first part, we need it for the second part, minus f of x plus g of x. The only thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to rearrange this numerator and I'm going to have limit when delta x approach to 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. And if, okay, plus limit when delta x approach to 0 of g of x plus delta x minus g of x 
over delta x. And these two limits are nothing else than f prime of g and g prime of x. f prime of x and g prime of x, I'm sorry. So now you have a proof of the sum rule. Similarly, you can do the difference rule. So basically, if I have a function f of x, which is 4x cubed plus 5x squared, the derivative will be 4. So I'm going to use also the constant rule here, if you not, it's times the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, right? Move the 3 up front, keep the base, drop 1 from the power plus and i'm gonna use the sum rule five again the constant rule here times two x to the power of two minus one which is just one so the final answer here will be 12 x squared plus 10 x and that's it if you enjoyed today's video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help thank you